ENC Basics everyone should know. Can we give you Welcome, I'm Frothic from Kingdom 6. Thank you for watching my channel. That's the basic tutorial about things I wish I had known before. The food bag. The first thing you should know is the food bag. If you tap on the food farm building icon, it will give you back whatever your troops ate since you tap on it the last time. Keep an eye on my food. Important to know is that the first thing you have to do after you log in is to push that icon. After that, keep pushing it every few minutes to make sure you lose no food. Talent switch with VIP 10. After reaching VIP 10, you are free to switch back and forth between different talent setups. I personally have four different settings saved. One for gathering, building and researching. One for fights of every kind. One for training and healing. And one for being offline. Don't forget to change them when you need it. Lord information. The Lord information is a powerful tool for each leader to decide who deserves help and who doesn't. Click on the player's profile and look at the other tab under lot information. Now you can see how much a player has already sent to others and if he is asking for more than he has given. The territory overview. If you have ever wondered how much resources you actually have in total, then I have the one solution for you now. Click on your castle and look for the territory overview. Now you can see how much resources of each kind you have total in your bag. Another thing is keep your stuff. There are many different events in the game and you should keep all the items in your bag for the events. I will upload a event manager tutorial about this. Buy artifacts. There's an artifact shop where you can buy artifacts for different situations in the game. Tap on the empty frame on your Lord profile and tap confirm. You should always remember to buy one if you make a big build, research or train a lot of troops. Don't forget to buy one. Next thing is about your Sora lair. In the lair you can interact with your dragon. Talk to him and you will get dragon XP. Praise him and you will get runes. Gift him and you will get resources. Alliance shop history. If you have ever wondered who bought or provided an item in the alien shop, you should look at the details. Tap on the little GIF icon to see all the details. Mark one target in the puzzle. You can mark one opponent if you click on him. Also, you can find more details if you hold your finger on him. If the puzzle pieces miss the enemy, you will get more MP for it. The middle opponent usually takes up more space, so you should eliminate him first. The lower cards and exchange. You will eventually have some of the smaller heroes at plus 5 already. Recycle the fragments to buy better frags in the exchange shop. Direct ports against attacks. If you are attacked, it's advisable to use a direct relocate. You use a random relocator. The enemy's troops will hit you instantly. For direct relocate, it doesn't matter if you have still troops on their way, still work. Finally, it's important to understand how the super rally and the super reinforcement works. The player who activates this ensures that every member get the same troop stats as him. Therefore, this ability could only be activated by strong players. 
Okay, that was part one of the basics. Follow me for part two. Thank you for watching my channel. Help me to spread the video. Leave a comment and see you next time.